Hey guys, this is Vanya, and today we're going to talk about short picking. Now, this is a, obviously a very common situation where something gets out of sync with the system, so the reality at the warehouse is different from what we have registered in the system. And as part of executing picking work, as part of a, uh, of a picking route, the worker might come to a location and find that the inventory is actually not there or is damaged or whatever meaning that he cannot pick it for the order that he's working on. Um, in that case, in uh, the system, he would report a short picking exception. And that's what I want to focus on today. So I've prepared some data to showcase all the capabilities of the short picking work exceptions. Um, I have three sales orders. And this is the first sales order for one of our customers and he's ordered two of our most popular products which is hdmi cables 47 and 48. Uh, <clears throat> i have already reserved uh, the sales order lines uh, released the order to warehouse which created and processed the wave which created the uh, work that you see here basically we pick from the two locations lp002 and lp001 um, where the goods are registered to be um, now the other order uh, 267 is again for the same items just for different customer and i've also released it to warehouse so there is work created that's asking to pick from the exact same locations as the other one and order number three <coughs> is uh, just ordering five pieces of item 147 and I have reserved it, but I have not released it to warehouse, meaning that there is no work. So it's only sales level, sales order level reservation that's present for this uh, for this line. Now I have John, my warehouse worker, who is responsible for executing the picks in my warehouse, and I asked him to go and execute the first pick. So he's um, shown with the standard pick screen on the mobile device. Uh, but when he actually arrives at the specified location, LP002, he sees that the inventory is not there or broken or whatever. So he presses the short pick button, which is available for the picking flows. And since there is actually no inventory at all in there, um, he's uh, going to put in the quantity that he can pick um, as zero. He's also um, responsible for selecting the right reason for um, uh, the short pick exception. In this case, I'm selecting the item is not there plus adjust out and I'll describe the, the setup later. Note that I don't need to actually enter the license plate when I enter the short pick quantity of zero as the zero quantity is not on a specific uh, license plate. This is just a summary screen for the short pick. You can see that I am picking zero that I'm short five units, and this is the exception that I was using. <clears throat> so once that processes, once that processes, and this is just the first time because I needed to restart my AOS, so it's a bit slow. Uh, I'm now asked to pick from the second order, but before we do that, I want to show you a few things that have now changed. If I go to this sales order again and look at the work, <coughs> I can see that the first pick operation is now closed. The work quantity was changed to zero and the quantities for the remaining line specifically for the put have been updated to account uh, for the reduced uh, work quantity on the first pick line. Now, if we look at the, what else has happened, if I just go to all work, I can see that there was a new uh, work order created of work order type inventory movement. It's now already closed and it, you can see, did an adjustment of 10 units from the location LP002. Um, now I need to go in and explain what exactly why we, so I was short picking zero 
out of five, right? Um, but it created a um, it created a, a an adjustment um, work for ten items. So why did that happen? So if we look at the transactions for uh, stuff that's related to my location, I had twenty that I purchased and placed on this license plate to start with. I had three um, sales orders. The first one. Uh, that had work and reserved physically on the work five pieces. The second one that had work, and this is still this one that is still open and reserved physically 10 pieces. And then the third one was a sales order line uh, level reservation, um, <clears throat> which was not tied to a specific location. As you know, in the new warehouse management solution, we always reserve at the level above location on the sales order. Um, so it was just reserved at the basically warehouse and inventory status level and the quantity was five. And the way that I've done the setup is that I can actually um, remove that reservation when I'm adjusting out because what I'm telling the system is that there is zero in that location uh, and I need to adjust out the entire on hand that is currently registered in this, in the system there but I am not able to adjust out the 20 units because work is untouchable, right? We, we don't know if there's already somebody coming to that location uh, to try executing this pick work or whatever. So we never adjust, we never touch the work, but we can touch the sales order level of reservation, which is what happened here. I adjusted out the five that were related to the work that I was executing and the five that were related to just the sales order uh, reservation. And if I look at the um, sales order, just to finish this off, <coughs> I can see that the sales order status is still released. So even though I short picked, it did not change the sales order status. What this means is that I still plan to ship this and if I get the inventory, um, you know, if I find it somewhere uh, that it was just not registered in the system or if it uh, new inventory arrives, what I will need to do is to manually add the, um, the shipment uh, to a new wave. Uh, using the standard maintain shipments form and then process that wave, which will create a new work for me and I'll need to execute it. Now, if I were now to start picking the, uh, the second line of my work order and it's different location, different item, and I'm also short picking it because something is wrong, right? The, the quantity is not there, but there are two items that are available. And if I am picking, I need to enter the license plate that I'm picking from or scan it at the location and um, scan, scan the quantity. And also, as you noticed, I selected a different reason um, just to showcase the, another possibility. Uh, this is just the summary screen of the short pick, same as before. Now I need to enter the target license plate because I told the system that I'm only picking two out of what is registered in the system as 10. Um, And now I have these two items uh, on this target license plate that I'm just delivering to the bay door. You might have noticed that the mobile device is not smart enough to know that I actually short picked the first item. So it, it's only one item that I have on my, on my palette. Uh, so it says multiple. Okay, so what this means is that if I now go and look at my work, um, the work order I was working on is now closed. As you can see, the work quantity has also been adjusted here to two um, because this is what I actually picked. Now you might also see that a new work order of type cycle counting has been created and it is for uh, the location LP001 and that is again based on uh, the setup uh, that I have done. If we now look at the uh, sales order <coughs> you might see that the sales order status has now changed to partially released 
and that is again based on my setup um, and what this means is that I can if I just navigate to the to the load I can actually go and proceed with that load now so I have reduced the quantity that I said I would initially put on the load uh, and I can go ahead and actually uh, ship confirm it well in this case obviously I had the first line that uh, I did not reduce but let's just expand this so I'll show you what I mean <coughs> so you can see that here the quantity on the load on the load line has been reduced from 10 to um, to 2 um, meaning that if this was the only line that I had on the load I could just continue and actually ship it to the customer um, then shipping the rest if the customer still wants it at a later time when the inventory is available uh, as part of a separate separate load so if I get the inventory I would just need to re-release the sales order again to create a, a new wave a new shipment a new uh, and new work all right, so that was the, the flow that I wanted to show. I mean, as you saw, there were a lot of different um, capabilities, so it's pretty flexible in how we can set it up. And all of that is done through setting up the work exceptions. And I have two work exceptions that I have set up. The first, that, the first one that we used was items not there plus adjust out. You can see the short exception type is short pick. We also have other exception types that I'll not cover here. And I've said that I want to adjust inventory out when um, I'm short picking, meaning that I should already in the system register that the quantity is not there in that location. And I've used this specific adjustment type code. If we navigate to it, <clears throat> you can see that it's basically a very simple um, entity it just allows me to specify the journal name the standard inventory journal name uh, of type counting that will be created to actually adjust the inventory out and then there is this flag that i mentioned before about removing sales order level reservation um, when we are adjusting out so that if i don't have inventory in some other location um, at that warehouse that, that I've reserved at with that inventory status, it will actually remove the sales order reservation if this is checked. <clears throat> the second work exception that I had is items not there plus count, which is also a short pick exception. And what I've set up here is that when I short pick and specify this reason code, I want to automatically create cycle counting work meaning that somebody will actually go to that location and count what is really there, right? And this is a more, the, the first one is a more trust-oriented uh, approach where I trust the worker to uh, have counted it correctly. This is a more um, safe, robust approach. Uh, and the other checkbox that I've set is to automatically decrement the shipment or the load line, uh, <coughs> or specifically both. And what this means is that it will reduce the quantity on the load line, as I've showed you uh, just before. Now, on your environment, you might actually see a slightly different behavior because uh, this area had a number of issues. Uh, in the initial release. So if your behavior is different from what you saw in this demo, please uh, go to LCS and download all, uh, all the hot fixes related to short picking. Yeah, so basically this is a um, useful feature in AX. Um, so give it a try if you have not uh, used it before. Uh, basically it enables us to you know, not be stuck when something is wrong and something is out of sync. So the worker can actually go and continue the picking wave um, and at the same time um, provide the flexibility to, you know, create certain events or create certain tasks basically for other team uh, members of the warehouse 
to go and investigate what is it that went wrong. Um, all right, thanks for watching.